हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand the integration in time property of continuous time Fourier transform. First, let us see the statement. If x of t for this, if we perform Fourier transform, we will obtain x of j omega. Then, integration of minus infinity to t x of tau d tau. For this, if we perform Fourier transform, we will obtain x of j omega divided by j omega plus pi x of j zero into delta of omega. Let us prove this proof. Now let us take convolution x of t convoluted with u of t. That can be written as integration of minus infinity to infinity x of tau u of t minus tau d tau. Now we need to know the term u of t minus tau. To understand this, let us take the waveform. So we can represent u of t minus tau like this. U of t minus tau. So this will be equal to one for tau value ranging from minus infinity to t. So if tau value is greater than t up to infinity, u of t minus tau is zero. So we can write the above equation as x of t. Convoluted with u of t as integration of minus infinity to t x of tau d tau. So what we have done? So we have made this term one for t value ranging from minus infinity to t. So that's why we have taken the integration from minus infinity to t. Let us call this as equation number one. If you observe equation number one. x of t convoluted with u of t we have obtained integration from minus infinity to t x of tau d tau so this term is same as this term so that's why if you find the fourier transform of x of t convoluted with u of t we should obtain this equation so let us do that so let us find fourier transform of x of t convoluted with u of t so we can write this as fourier transform of x of t into fourier transform of u of t let us take this as equation number 2 if you observe equation 2 here convolution in time domain is multiplication in frequency domain that's why we have written equation 2 like this now we know fourier transform of x of t we can write it as x of j omega and fourier transform of u of t we can write it as pi delta of omega plus 1 by j omega now let us substitute these two values in equation number 2 then we will obtain fourier transform of x of t convoluted with u of t we can write this as in place of fourier transform of x of t we can write this value and in place of fourier transform of u of t we can write this second term so we can write x of j omega into pi delta of omega plus 1 by j omega now this equation we can write it as If we multiply x of j omega term, we will obtain x of j omega divided by j omega plus pi x of j omega into delta of omega. Now let us use the property of delta function. This property states that x of t one into delta of t minus t naught. We can write it as x of t naught. Into delta of t minus t naught. So here, if you can observe, t one is replaced with t naught in this expression. So here, t naught is replaced here in the property of delta function. Let us make use of the property and let us simplify this term. So we can write x of j omega into delta of 
omega minus 0. So here if you use the property of delta function we can write this as x of j0 into delta of omega. So here what we have done we have replaced omega with 0 using this property. So we can write Fourier transform of x of t convoluted with u of t as x of j omega divided by j omega plus pi x of j 0 into delta of omega. So, this is the proof. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.